And now you're back at the University of South Carolina, of course, your alma mater. And, you know, like you were saying off air, you were, you know, everybody wanted you to come back. And right now you're the volunteer head coach. Again, I, I told you before we got going, I'm really excited to have you on to just bring awareness to this. And obviously there's a goal right now to fundraise the money to, like, like you said, it's 2021. You got to make a salary. It's kind of hard to work for free, of course, and bring yeah. your talents to Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah. But yeah. the rugby community and the rugby alumni you were talking about has been incredible for USC and obviously wanting to get you here and trying to, you know, once the previous coach stepped down, obviously getting you to Columbia. Just talk about what that's been like. Obviously, again, you can talk about the website also, Carolina rugbycoaching.com, which we'll be dropping the link, like I said, certainly to bring awareness to that. Right. But, uh, yeah, if you want to talk about that, just how the conversation even started, you know, when you made the decision to come to Columbia, because I'm I'm sure for you it was a sweet moment, obviously, coming back home, if you will. No, it's been a great, it's it's been a great homecoming for me. Um, So I'm, I'm coaching at Furman, and we're collecting these championships, and we have the field, and we actually host a lot of national championship tournaments at Furman. So we had a really big footprint at Furman. And then about three and a half years ago, I decided to pursue another opportunity, professional opportunity, at another college, Piedmont University. Okay. So I became the Associate Vice President of Marketing and Communications there. So I stepped away from coaching. Right. And, um, and all the while, you know, while I'm working at Furman and coaching as a volunteer uh, at the rugby team, you know, I maintain my close friendships with a lot of my teammates mm-hmm. here at the University of South Carolina. And we get together about every year to go do something, mm. you know. And I'll tell you a little funny story, you know. Back when University of South Carolina first started hosting rugby alumni games, I was one of like only 10 people that started showing up, you know. Right. And uh, and they had these events, and only a few alumni came up, and the coach at the time, Howard Hunt, mm. said, we have these events, and the only guys that show up are the same drunk 10. <laughs> and so from that on, <clears throat> You know, we were called the D10. We called ourselves the D10. D10. So the D10 gets together, and there were guys like in their 50s, you know, in their late 40s, and we get together all the time. And all the while, they're saying, man, you gotta come back and coach Carolina. Mm. Yeah, Carolina's good, you gotta come back. We gotta find a way to get you here, you know? And so I'm listening, and then when I left coaching, they maybe, are you gonna come back to coach? We want you to coach Carolina. I said, well, we gotta coach for one thing, mm. right? And if we do it, I'm not gonna do it for free. Right. So <laughs> then, when Mark Moore stepped away, um, this past, you know, about a year ago, not even a year ago, in the spring, he stepped away from stepped away from coaching to spend more time with the grandkids, and then that suddenly created an opportunity. Mm-hmm. So the members of the Carolina Rugby Foundation, this is like five or six guys, and they uh, raised money for events to suffer Carolina. They came to me and they said, we want you to be coach. And I said, I, I can't do it for free. You know, I have three kids that are out of college now, so I can take a little bit of a pay cut mm-hmm. You know, but I'm not doing it for free. They said, what's it going to take? So we went to the University of South Carolina, and they worked with us with, it, with us through this, and they said, you know, we want John to come here to be the coach because he's a culture guy, because he's going to help our young men become better young men. And so they set up a fund at the University of South Carolina, and so we began outreach with our alumni and some of our friends and some of my friends and some of my family, to raise the money needed to get me here, to get it set up. We had to raise $85,000. Now, we're up really close to 70 right now. We've had 100 people step up uh, and make gifts. Last week, we had 34 people uh, contribute to combined $15,000. So, and we're doing this all, we're doing Zooms with alumni. Right. Organically, all, all organic. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. We're, we're, we're making calls, we're posting videos. Some of the videos are on carolinarugbycoaching.com, so you can go see them. A lot of people just speak to me about my, about what I bring to the table. Yeah. And then uh, some folks just talk about, you know, the need for a coach. Mm-hmm. You know, we are a club team at Carolina. Right. Okay, so we have been around since 1967. Mm-hmm. 